Hello, how are you? I hope you've had a good couple of weeks. I'm sorry we couldn't be with you last week. Percy and I were so sad, weren't we, Percy? <laughs> but here we are today. And today we are thinking about kindness and goodness. And they... <laughs> Percy, don't interrupt. <laughs> oh, but you want to know what they are. Okay, well, let's see. Kindness and goodness are two of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we've been talking about those fruit of the Holy Spirit, haven't you? Can you remember what they were? Come on, let's get our brains going. There was love, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness. And did we do joy too? <laughs> We did do joy. Okay, there's a few more, but we'll get to them next time. So kindness and goodness then, that's what we're going to talk about. But first we need to get our fidgets out, don't we? So what should we do to get our fidgets out, Percy? What do you think? Exercises? Really? Exercises? Okay, all right then everybody, up on your feet. Let's do our exercises. So let's reach up tall, reach out wide, reach down to your toes. I know it's a long way down to my toes, but I can still touch them. You can touch your toes. All right, let's come back up. Let's jump up and down, jump, 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 jump. flap your wings. That's only for you. They can pretend to flap their wings. Okay, flap your wings, flap your wings. Right, have we got our fidgets out? You've got your fidgets out. Have you got your fidgets out? Shall we sit down then and let's have our story as we think about kindness and goodness. Now I'm gonna tell you a story about a lady called Dorcas. And here she is, this is Dorcas. And Dorcas, was a lovely lady and she lived in a very busy seaside town. It was called Joppa. And in the hot afternoon, she used to sit sewing in the shade by her house. Can you see her sewing in the picture? And here she is again, there's somebody running to see her. One afternoon, a little boy named Ben came running to Dorcas. Please come, Dorcas, he cried. Something's wrong with my mother. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Yes, he must be very worried. So Dorcas at once went to Ben's house. His mother was very poorly. Don't worry, said Dorcas. I'll help take care of her. And Dorcas stayed to help the sick mother. Ben's father wasn't alive anymore. His mother had no money to buy clothes. It's sad, isn't it? But it still happens sometimes today that people don't have very much, do they? No, that's right. So when Dorcas went back home, she made new coats for Ben and his sister. That was very nice, Percy. Yes, very nice indeed. She was doing something to be helpful. Do you think that was kind? I think that was kind, don't you? When Dorcas was sewing outside her house, she had lots of friends that would come and see her. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised she had friends. She did lots of lovely things for them. When anyone needed help, they came to her and she enjoyed making them clothes and telling them about Jesus. <laughs> I think she did know Jesus. Yes, Percy, that's what helped her to be kind. Remember, we've talked about the Holy Spirit helping us to have all these different fruits. So, one day, poor Dorcas fell very, very ill. She had to stay in bed. And after a few days, she died. Her friends all came to her house and they were so very, very sad. Two men came rushing into the house. They said, Simon Peter is staying in the next one. <laughs> yes, Simon Peter was one of Jesus' disciples. He knew Jesus. They said, Simon Peter made a lame man well. Perhaps he could help Dorcas. 
And they went off and they found Simon Peter and they told him all about Dorcas. They said, please come quickly. And do you know what? Peter went with the two men to the house of Dorcas. <laughs> all right, well, let's see what happens next, Percy. Peter's coming, someone shouted, and the woman, women crowded around Peter. They showed him the clothes Dorcas had made for them and their families. Peter must have realised how many friends Dorcas had and how good she had been to Peter. And kind, yes, Percy. Peter said, show me the room where Dorcas is. And he went inside and closed the door and he asked Jesus to make her well. And then he said, get up, Dorcas. And she opened her eyes and he helped her up. She's alive and she's well. And he, Peter's asked her to get up. Come now, said Peter to everybody. Dorcas is well again. And all over Joppa, people talked about the way Jesus showed his love for Dorcas by helping her to be well again. Wow. Well, that story, you can find that story in the book of Acts in chapter 9, verse 36 to 43, if you want to read any more. That's very exciting. And these pictures have been drawn by a man called Gordon Starr, so I hope you enjoyed them. Wow, what a story. What's your favourite bit, Percy? The bit where Dorcas gets well. Yes, I think that's one of my favourite bits too. But why I was telling you this story today is because we're thinking of kindness and goodness. And I think this story shows us not only how we can be kind and good, but how kind and good God is too. Because let's think, Dorcas, when was she kind? That's right, by helping Ben and his mother when she was poorly and by making them clothes. That's right. And I think when she did those things, people around her would have thought that she was good. That's right, yes. Do you think she did those things on her own? You don't. Who do you think helped her? <laughs> the Holy Spirit. Spirit. I think you're right. I think Jesus, because when he sent his Holy Spirit, he said he would help us with these fruits. And I think Jesus helped Dorcas to be kind and good and to help those people. But the story also shows us how kind and good God is because he healed Dorcas. He was being kind to Dorcas and he was being kind to all her friends as well. Well, isn't that wonderful? So why don't you have a think today? Now, just as we say our prayer, how could you show kindness to somebody today? How could you show how good God is to your family? Maybe you could help tidy something away. Maybe if you don't know what would help, you could ask what would it help if you did at home to be kind? Maybe if you've got a little brother or a little sister, or even a big brother or sister, perhaps you could be kind to them and share your toys nicely. Or maybe ask them if you can give them a big hug to show them how much you love them. Anyway, let's say our prayer. And then I'll let you think how you can be kind and show God's kindness and God's goodness to your family. Father God, thank you that you help us to be kind by sending your Holy Spirit. I pray now that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to be kind and good to all those people around us. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> Amen, Percy. Well, have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you soon. Bye! <laughs>